everybody's in curls welcome back for another video and in today's video we are going to talk about the products that i regret trying and buying now the reason why i'm saying trying is because i tried these and they were either in pr they were gifted to me i was at an event i don't want to give credit with that i did purchase this product because I don't I want to let you guys know that I do purchase some products other products are sent to me so I am going to let you guys know which ones I tried I brought I bride I am going to let you guys know which ones I tried and I lied and this is actually inspired from Samantha March my girl here on YouTube yes I will leave a link down below to her videos but she has the products I regret buying products I don't regret buying products I don't regret that I buy I don't know it's like three or four of them but they are really really good i love that we talk about makeup that we love that we don't like that is like man maybe and we you know some of them are the oh category in this video i am going to talk about products that i tried and buy whether it's pr whether i purchased it with my own money and i will leave the rest to you guys not that it's a horrible product or anything bad because yeah it's just, it just didn't work for me and y'all y'all have to take into account that i have different skin i have different a different skin texture different skin tone so please please if you love these products definitely continue to use them it just didn't work for part of me okay so without further ado let's get into the video okay Okay, so I have about six or seven products. I feel like it's to be thorough. I didn't want to like just throw too many items in this video, but I definitely want to talk about this because I just went through my empties and I saw a lot of these that I did not like and I wanted to kind of like elaborate on as to why I didn't like them. So the first product that I'm going to talk about is the Iman foundation stick. Now, this has a lot to do, this does not have everything to do with this product. This has everything to do with my skin. And this goes to show that it's really important that you get things that are comparable to your skin. I have normal to dry skin. And I really wanna start saying combo skin because this is what's crazy. Is that I, around the winter months, I get dry around this area and my cheeks, but I am very oily around my nose, sometimes here. So I guess you would say your T-zone. But what's crazy is that I don't get oily on my nose. I get no oily around my nose. I guess that's still my nose though. So I really want to say combo now, which is crazy, but this foundation stick, it actually has a more of a matte dry formula. I feel like I did not like, I did not like the Anastasia stick foundation. A lot of people love that. This is what that this actually reminds me of, but in, in a better way. Um, but I'm so sad because this was my shade. This was really good in spring and summer, but now that it's going into like fall and winter, it is starting to feel so dry on my skin. But it is such, it's a nice formula. It's very smooth. But I decided to declutter it just because it's not something that I can use year round. It's gonna go bad on me. I have so many other, I have stick foundations. I really like Two foundation sticks that I like is the Maker Forever HD. I have not found one really from the drugstore that I just love. And I also like the Vanish Stick Foundation by Hourglass. But this one is not comparable year round. This one kind of like, I feel like it adjusts to your skin, um, but it's more of a glide on. This one kind of like skips and as it gets dry, you can kind of see your, your patches, your dry patches with this. So highly recommend. It for oily skin it's just not for me and I have like normal dry combo skin I guess I did purchase that one myself let's talk about a product that was actually given to me these are the beauty bakery concealers now I have a love hate relationship more love than hate with these but let me tell you the reason why it's in this video is because they are so finicky these are so like it doesn't work with every powder i can use it with my finger but then it picks up the product um 
the particles on my finger and I use like y'all know I use face oils so it's not that it looks beautiful some days and when I say it looks beautiful it is so beautiful but then with other days other foundations it's just it's just too inconsistent to me to really love this product but it is so when it's beautiful it is flawless and it's something I really like these when I don't have to set it with a powder and it really depends on the weather this is crazy with that you know but i really do like the cake face concealer i really do like these it's like when it's perfect it's perfect but when it wants to get an attitude and say hold up it really does not work with whatever i have on and you can tell like my you can actually tell when my when my fla my face can be flawless but under eye you like oh you didn't you didn't try girl okay so let's talk about the next product this is the fiona styles this is her bronzer and it's in the shade western first of all the size kind of threw me off but i liked it because it was a, almost like a travel size it has a mirror which i loved but y'all this skips i don't know let's see if you you guys can see this it is it's kind of splotchy which is crazy because i love the foundations and this is the only thing that I got from her collection that I didn't like. I really have to blend it and like, okay, I see it right here. Okay, so you may not be able to see it, but when I put on this bronzer, once it gets down here, it looks like it's not blended and no matter how much you blend, it like it's like dots here and there. You see, it doesn't, it's almost like it, lays down and then picks back up which is i don't know i don't know if that makes sense but i feel like i almost have to do it on this side too because otherwise it won't look it's almost like you have to even the mess you know what i mean that you kind of like made but anyway i don't feel like it's even and it's not it feels smooth but the look and even when i clean up down here it it just i don't know you know when you put on a really good bronzer and then you put on another one you like ooh, you can like tell the difference i was able really to tell the difference until i tried one of like my really good bronzers like the makeup forever pro bronze fusion so yeah that one was a no-go another concealer i have like a few concealers in here that didn't work for me this is the glossier stretch concealer now let me tell you something this works amazingly and combo with something but by itself it did too much moving and shifting if you have a concealer that just dries out too crazy as a matter of fact this is what's crazy if I use this under these because this is so emollient and this is quick drying it did well but because this one's so inconsistent it still didn't matter you would just like hope and pray you know you don't want those type of uh products that you have to hope and pray that it works that time and that one just was inconsistent well this one and it in the fall and winter it is amazing but it's spring and summer it just shifts and moves around a little bit too much and if you have fine lines and wrinkles um you know i'm getting up to an age and i'm just i mean i'm not you know i'm not ancient okay but um, I am a seasoned woman okay <laughs> I'm just kidding I am in my late 30s and I feel like when you start getting those fine lines or wrinkles this is something that you have to set and if you don't set it with a really good fine milk powder this can look crazy on you too so this one I definitely regret buying I did purchase this myself and I regret it now I can use this in other combina combinations as the fall and winter I don't have to set this but I really do like this in the fall and winter but it's not one it's not full coverage and it's so emollient that I cannot use this in spring or summer so no and what are you doing behind me give me a kiss like mwah. Mwah. thank you so you can't kiss it like Wait, how you gonna take it off? <laughs> Another concealer that I regret trying or buying. This one I actually tried. I was at an event and got this CoverGirl. This is the Vitalist Healthy Concealer. Now, y'all, it is not full coverage. And it, I don't know, it just... I don't know it's not to me it's not like the foundation at all to be honest with you 
this is like the foundation i feel like it's nice and fresh and glowy and still full coverage you can build it up to a full coverage this is not um it probably would work in the winter months because that's just the thing i prefer something that's gonna work year round but mm, i didn't like it for some reason it just was not it didn't work for me so so sorry so sorry so i hope you guys enjoyed this video of products that i regret trying and buying thanks so much for watching you guys comment down below let me know what you regret trying and buying and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys